Hello guys, welcome to the year 31 session of the Android Framework Code 2.0 tutorials. In this session, we will see how to log the SQL query that executed by the Entity Framework Code 2. Entity Framework will generate the query or the command for each database operation. Using the log, we can see which SQL query is originally found on the database. After all, all the databases will understood the SQL queries. In development, you can use the SQL profiler to see the particular query. But what if you want to track the all of the query after the development? Then we need to use the logger that provided by the Android Framework Code 2. Let's switch to Visual Studio and open the startup.cs file. If you see out that the configure method will take the four parameters. Initially, it has the two parameter, and then we added two more parameter in our previous session. We are used the context but not use the logger factor till now. To enable the log feature, we need to setting up the logger factory. Before this, we need to create a new class that inherit from the iLogger provider. Let's create it. Class my logger provider that will implement the uh, i logger provider and implement the its both method create uh, one more private class within that right class my logger that will inherit from the uh, i logger and implement its all method, make it private. In is enable method, we need to return the year true. In begin scope, we need to return the year null. In create logger method of the uh, mylog provider, we need to return new instance of the uh, mylogger. Let's remove the throw statement from the dispose. This log method is one of the most important method for that. Normally we log the data into the file or on our console. For testing I am showing the both of them. For file we need to write the file and import its namespace that is a system.io file dot append all lines and, and pass the uh, file path where you want to store. I am going to store it on uh, app drive with the uh, name log.txt and its content will be come from the uh, formatter and it take the uh, two parameter the first will be a uh, state and the uh, second will be the uh, exception Here the formatter is a come from the parameter of the log class as well as the state and the exception are also coming from the parameter of the log method. Let's write on the console. For that we need to use the console dot write line and same use the formatter function and pass the state and the exception. That's it. After creating this provider, we need to bind it with the uh, logger factory. For that, open the uh, configure method and write logger factory dot add provider and pass the uh, instance of the uh, new my logger provider dot and semicolon save those changes and to run the project instead of the using the iis express i am going to use the code first from that drop down if we run via the iis then it does not show the console when we are select the project name from that drop down list then it will open the console 
so we can see the uh, what we are right on the uh, console and let's run it here you can see that the console was open and our page was also I'm going to retrieve the uh, list of books for that use the uh, read book action here we got the uh, two book detail and let's see the uh, console here are the uh, logs that written by the our logger and here is a query that we are used let's open the uh, my computer open the uh, app drive and open the uh, log.txt you can see that it contains the uh, same data that we are write on the uh, console let's see what we are learning this session here is a logger provider that we are created in a create logger we need to return the uh, logger class that we are created in dispose method we are do nothing and create a new class that action from the uh, i logger in easy neighbor method we are returning the uh, true in the uh, begin scope method we are returning the uh, null log that is uh, one of the most important method in which we are save the uh, log detail in the uh, file by using the uh, file dot append line and display it on a console by using the uh, console dot write line here format state and exception all of them are come as a parameter for the uh, log method after creating the uh, custom log provider we need to tell the uh, ilogger factory that we are created the uh, logger provider and use it for that we need to use the uh, add provider method and pass the instance of the uh, provider that we are created thanks for watching have a nice day